Hello, welcome to this video on using Google Jamboard for encouraging student collaboration and participation. In this video, we will cover how to create and set up your Jamboard and then highlight different features on Jamboard that will be useful for student collaboration. Jamboard is a digital interactive whiteboard with a variety of annotation tools to help students make multimedia contributions. Using these annotation tools, students can express their ideas and thoughts in diverse ways and easily collaborate on class activities like brainstorming and content sharing. Please note that this walkthrough is conducted on LionMail. If you have an affiliate account, you may see different language or options for sharing in your Google Suite apps. Please contact the CTL for further support. Let's begin with creating a Jamboard. To create a Jamboard, go to jamboard.google.com and log in. Go to the bottom right corner of your screen, click on the orange plus button, and a new empty Jamboard will appear. Before sharing the Jamboard link with your students, make sure to set up the Jamboard properly so that it has an appropriate title and the access setting. To change the title, click on the top left corner where it says Untitled Jam and type in a different name. Make sure to change the settings so that students have editor access and not viewer access. You can check the access setting by clicking the blue share button on the top right corner of your screen and make necessary adjustments. For more details about sharing and accessing Jamboard, please see our other video titled Creating, Sharing, and Accessing Collaborative Documents Using Google Suite Apps. The first feature we will look at is customizing the background. Back in the empty Jamboard, you can set the background so that it best serves your teaching objectives. For example, if you would like your students to draw graphs, you can go to the top menu bar, select Set Background, and select the graphing paper shown in the available options. There are other options such as a dotted paper, lined paper, and solid color backgrounds. You can also search for an image from Google by clicking the image icon at the bottom, select Google Image Search, and type in your search word. Here, I'll search for world map continents, select the image that I want, and select Set as Frame Background. The map background could be used for an icebreaker activity where students identify their location on the map and introduce one interesting fact about their location. Now let's look at the different annotation tools available on Jamboard. In the left sidebar, you have the option of using a virtual pen, posting a sticky note, adding an image, inserting a shape, and using a text box. For example, if you were to ask your students to identify their current location on this world map, students have the option to use the pen and mark their geographical location. And they can post a sticky note to add a short description. The sticky note can be moved around anywhere on Jamboard. Students can also insert an image from the web. For example, I'm going to select Google Image Search, type in Statue of Liberty, select the image that I want, and select Insert. The image can also be moved around anywhere on Jamboard. Additionally, students can insert a text box to type in another description. To edit, students can select an eraser from the left sidebar to erase what they wrote, or use the Select feature to move their posts or delete their posts. Anyone who has access to Jamboard can freely edit and delete any posts, including the ones that others have created. To keep track of who created which posts, you can ask students to sign their names beside their posts. When presenting their work, students can select Laser from the sidebar and point to their board work on Jamboard and provide their explanation. 
In this video, we discussed how to create a Jamboard and how to utilize the various features, like a customized background and the different annotation tools, to facilitate collaborative student activities. For further support or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, please contact us at columbiactl at columbia.edu.